Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to edge into fix old cameras turf. Hey David, how do I remove a stripped or cross-threaded battery cap? Okay, well let me just say right off the bat that in general, camera repair questions are best suited for the fix old cameras channel. Uh, they've been doing it for 30 some odd years and fix everything. Uh, I can replace light seals and take off stripped battery caps and do a couple of other minor things or accidentally fix cameras once in a while without knowing what I've actually done. This is a pretty easy fix. You're just going to need a couple of specialized tools. The first thing you're going to need is either a drill or a Dremel. And I like to have steel drill bits. They don't have to be hardened. You can get the quick release kind. That works fine because most battery caps are a soft brass or aluminum. So any drill bit's going to go right through them. You're also going to need some eyeglasses, some, some vi vision protection, and some hearing protection uh, if you have a loud drill, or even if not, I mean, those things are kind of loud anyway. And then the next thing you're going to need is what's called a spanner wrench. And this is a specialized tool. You can buy them on eBay or Amazon, places like that, pretty easily. Uh, they run anywhere from 10 to 25 bucks, give or take, depending on how good the spanner wrench you get is going to be. And you want to make sure that the one you get has two pointy ends on it, not just the kind with the flat head screwdriver ends on it. You need the points for this. So when you have your camera, your drill, your eye protection is on, your ear protection is in, you're going to drill two small holes like this. And you need them not to be on the very edge but you also need them to be a little bit far away from the center because most spanner wrenches are not going to reach super close to the center of, uh, together. And you also want to have a little bit of good leverage. So I tend to put them about two or three millimeters from the edge of the, of the battery cap. Now, once those are in there, you're going to use the spanner wrench to, untie, to unscrew the battery cap. And this will also work if the battery has exploded inside of the battery compartment. You just have to use enough uh, elbow grease to undo the, the thing. Now, once you get it out, if it was stripped or cross-threaded, you do not want to reuse that battery cap because the threads on it are chewed up and it will, it will cross-thread or get jammed onto the battery again. So you'll want to go and buy a new battery cap. Uh, there are a lot of good OEM ones on eBay that you can pick up uh, from people who are selling parts from dead cameras. So, uh, the existing battery cap can be recycled or pitched, whatever you need to do with it. And one thing you can do, is, and this is especially important if the battery has exploded, um, is clean out the battery compartment. If the battery did not explode, just use some rubbing alcohol on a cotton swab, clean off the, the threads and clean out the inside of the battery compartment a little bit because when you're drilling through, you would have gotten a little bit of metal dust in there and you want to get rid of that. If the battery has exploded, use vinegar, clear white vinegar, on a cotton swab, and that will dissolve the alkaline battery leakage. Vinegar is an acid, alkaline batteries are an alkaline. Put them together and they, they cancel each other out and turn into a fizzy little thing that uh, you can clean up and remove. And then once you've got that all removed, clean it with rubbing alcohol just to clean out any residual dirt. And then just, uh, if, if your battery cap only was stuck on because of the exploded battery and you can recover it with, rubbing out, uh, with, with vinegar and rubbing alcohol, there's no reason not to reuse it. As long as the threads on it are good and it threads on easily, you can reuse that battery cap. Just don't reuse ones where the threads have been damaged by the way they were put on previously. It's a pretty simple uh, repair to do and it's uh, not anything you need to worry about too much once you just make sure that uh, uh, if you want to take your camera out and start shooting with it right away, you've already ordered a new battery cap. 